You have been selected as a Skywind voice actor. We like you. You are a great person. However, in order to stay in our good graces and start your road to famedom within voice acting, we need you to know how to use Trello. Using Trello is as easy as 3.141592653... Yeah, you get it, it's easy. After pressing the link to Trello, you will be asked to create a Trello account, if you don't already have one. Follow the instructions using your forum username if possible. After you confirm your account, you will be offered to join the Trello board for voice acting. Accept the request and enter the Realm of Joy. Once you're in the Skywind voice acting board, it might be overwhelming at first. Swim it down now and breathe. Let us show you what you need to know. Use the Ctrl F short key command and type in your screen name in the search bar. Once you find your name, press the box with your name in it. This is your personal Trello card. You may have more than one card if you are assigned to multiple races or voice types. Your card will have the races and names of your characters. Do not, and this is important, create a card yourself. Only the admins, Hankshop being me, Smithammer and Cesare are supposed to do it. Take your time to read the description. If you have any questions, you can always contact us on Discord. The link is right here. You subscribe to the card by pressing the subscribe button, located to the right of your cards under Actions, right here. This way you will get notified via email if there's any change to your card, such as feedback. This card will be your lifeline within the project, so take good care of it. So we know that you are active on your card, you need to do two things. You need to add the assigned label by pressing Labels to the upper right under Add right here. Next, change your due date. We don't want to wait a whole nine months for that baby. The due date is the date you expect to be finished with your recording. You can always update this date in the future, and please do, so we know that you're still interested. We are trusting your new due date will be within a reasonable time. If your card ever expires, we will assume you're MIA, and you may lose your claims. You can find your scripts at the top of your card's columns. Each one of these cards holds the lines for its given race and sex. Inside these cards you can also find some general tips for acting accents and pronunciations for that race slash voice type. Once you have downloaded your scripts, you need to merge your files, but only for that given race slash voice type. Remember, no racial mixing. Some of your characters share certain lines, combat, reactions, etc. Merging your scripts makes sure you don't need to say certain lines over and over again. It also reduces the total file size of the project. Less work for you, less work for us. Just better overall for everyone, everywhere. You merge your files by using the merger tool made by community member Bob is me. There is also a link to it in the race columns. Take your files and simply drop them in this box. You can drop all characters of the same race in there. It will show you the lines and the file name related to them. File names, like this one, can sometimes be used to understand what type of line it is, if there's any confusion. If a line says, I've got the cure for your curse right here, and it's under a file name that says attack, you probably shouldn't say it like you're giving them a potion, for you are meant to give them an axe to the face. You should sound like it. To assure your audio quality is good, and that you have the right direction for the character, we first need a sample. Record three random dialogue lines and two random combat lines. It's of paramount importance that the sample's audio quality is representative of your final recording. Use the same setup and recording space as you would use for your final recording. It is also important that you really give it your all during combat lines. Remember. Axe to the face. You are either killing or being killed. There is no way to be milk toast about it and still make it sound believable. Once you have recorded a sample, attach it into your card by using the paperclip icon. You can use Dropbox or any other hosting services for the files. Then move the card, now with a sample in it, to the Submit your sample lines here column. We will review your sample and give you feedback. You will be notified via email once we have listened to it and given our thoughts. You need to do this for every different race slash voice type you are assigned to. If the sample is approved, you will be notified and you can start recording your characters. 
Once complete, you will upload the recording to us just like you uploaded the sample. This time, however, you will move your card over to the Submit your complete recordings here column instead. If there are problems with your final recording, such as missing lines, mispronunciations or other issues, we will update your card with a comment specifying the problems so you can remedy the situation forthwith. Once your recording is golden, our shopper gnomes will set to shopping, and we will be well underway to get them in-game. Remember, if you have any questions of any sort, our helpful team of do-gooding helper-outers are standing by on Discord, starving for attention. Congratulations! Go boast to your parents, to all your friends and your many, many enemies about your wonderful experience voice acting for Skywind. We are sure they will be bursting out with more pride than Simba had in that straight-to-DVD shitpile The Lion King 2 Simba's Pride. Yes, your enemies will be very proud of you. You glorious bastard. Okay, that's a wrap. <sighs> Let's go have a beer.